Today, I'm gonna to show you how to make your colors pop in your photographs inside of Photoshop and Lightroom using some sliders that are super powerful, but very few people use. Hey Cafe Crew, it's Colin Smith here from PhotoshopCafe.com. The very best place to learn Photoshop and Lightroom. Check it out at PhotoshopCafe.com. So today I'm gonna to show you how to make your colors pop in your photographs. First of all, we're gonna use uh, Photoshop and then I'm gonna show you in Lightroom. So we're gonna start here inside of Camera Raw and all I did is choose File Open. These are raw files that open in Camera Raw. You can also just go to um, Filter, Camera Raw Filter within Photoshop. So first of all, we're gonna do this example where I'm just gonna make this sky pop. And the area we're going to is HSL, which stands for hue, saturation, and lightness. I'll explain that in a second, but first of all, I'm gonna show you how to just make this pop. So the first thing we wanna do is skies and water. We really wanna make those blues bright. We're actually gonna go under luminance, which is brightness, and then we're gonna take the blues and we're gonna pull them down a little bit. And we're also gonna take these aquas down a little bit. So what we're doing is darkening them first of all. Now we're gonna to go to the saturation where we can increase the amount of color. We're gonna push the aquas up and we're gonna push the blues up. And now what we're gonna do is go on to hue. Now hue is where we would change the colors. So if we wanna change the blues and make them a little more blue, we can go that way or go this way. It's more of an aqua kind of a color. So you can just play around and just dial that in to get a natural result. So if we hit the before and after, you can see how quickly we're able to really make that sky and that water pop. Now we can take it further if we want. Let's go back to the luminance and we can really crank this up if we want. Look at this. And here, if we really wanted to just exaggerate it, we could do that so you guys can see the before and after on that. Okay, now I'm gonna quickly explain in about a minute how this works. So how this works is we've got hue, which is the color itself, which in this case would be the red, the orange, the purple, and the green. And you can see here, you know, like this, choose the green here. So we can adjust that hue and see how we can change her hair here from green to, you know, a yellow if we wanted. And same thing here in a yellow, see how that affects that range. Just like the reds, if we look at a red dress, we can change that to pink or orange. So this is how you can also change specific colors. Now, if you're not sure what color you're working on, you can go up over here and just use this. And we're gonna go under hue. And then all you need to do is just click on those regions and you can change those colors. So that's hue. Saturation is how much of that color. So we could take the red, we could pull it all the way down so it becomes you know, very desaturated and take the orange down, see that? Or we can increase it and increase the saturation. I'm just gonna click on default to reset it. Once again, we can go up under here and now we're seeing we've got saturation. So if you wanted to go a certain area, maybe this green, make it more green, we can just pull it up, pull it down to make that black and white. See the amount of control this gives? And then luminance, of course, is the lightness or darkness under there. So see like right now these reds are clipping and notice by default, it will select the, that there. So if we pull this down, we can darken that red or we can lighten it up, see that? So we can go under those specific colors or of course we can move here. So we can brighten up the greens, darken them, to show more color. All right, so what we find this here is under hue, saturation, and lightness. We'll scroll down here and you'll see HSL color. Now here's the hue, the saturation, and the luminance or lightness. That's the easy way to remember it. If we click all, it'll show them all together, which is kind of useful sometimes. So what we wanna do is do the luminance. Let's take the aquas and the blues. We're just gonna click and darken those down, see that? And darken it down. So we wanna break the sky pop without losing the detail here in the foreground. We don't have to make selections or anything. In fact, why don't we just brighten everything a little bit? So what we're gonna do is brighten up this nice frame here. And so now we've brought the blues down. Let's increase the saturation on them, going to the blues and the aqua. See that? And if you feel like it's starting to look a little unnatural, sometimes you can change it by going up here, which is the hue. So we've done a luminance, the saturation, now we're doing the hue. And you know, you could play around and slightly change that sky, make it more blue by going that way. And we can go more like that. We could always go into purples if you wanted. So that's how we do that. Now let's talk about these local adjustments here. So if we wanna do the hue, saturation, and luminance, well, we click on this little picker here under luminance, and we can go here under the greens. 
make those greens brighter or darker just by clicking and dragging up or down on there. Same thing, we could grab those reds. Notice the flag in that, we're making it brighter or darker. Great, let's go to the saturation. Just click on there, now it changes to saturation. Let's make this green more saturated. Let's make this red more saturated. Just by clicking on the red and dragging up. And we can do the same thing in the sky. See that if we want to really saturate that or bring it down, we can play around just like that. So I'm curious, have you been using HSL before? Let me know in the comments underneath. And also, what is your favorite color correction tool that you've been using inside of Photoshop and Lightroom? And one more question I have for you guys. Are you using Photoshop or Lightroom or both? Let me know in the comments underneath. Now, I do want to mention that I do have a new Lightroom course out. I'm not going to go on about it a lot, but it's a 14-hour comprehensive Lightroom course, A to Z, start to finish. Um, it's called Lightroom Classic for digital photographers, and I'm gonna add a link to that underneath as well. And if you like these kind of tutorials, straight to the point, no hype, consider hitting that subscribe button right now, become part of the Cafe Crew. And also hit that little notification bell, and you'll be notified when I upload a new tutorial, which is at least once a week, generally on Tuesdays. So anyway, guys, if you like this, smash that like button into dust, tell your friends about this place, and until next time, I'll see you at the Cafe. Thank mm -hmm. you.